365 days of clay cups. You're going to get to see cup number 98 and 99 all in one video. Oh, I just heard someone outside. Anyway, I just got back from a really fun event. Our, uh, the San Joaquin Potter's Guild had a box social, which is where you get together. It's a potluck. You have food and wine and drinks. and um, <laughs> we had everyone who was supposed to bring a box to make and what you did is you voted on the box you know the best to show and then they had these other funny little ones you could vote on and uh, I hand built a box real quick and I I stuck it I, you saw it on a couple videos ago you saw me making it but um, <laughs> this box is the one I got and I was really excited this is the one I got to pick Yep, and it was made by, um, if you go to fetishghost.com, he also does vlogs, and I had never met him before until after I picked his box, and wouldn't you know he picked my box too, and uh, yeah, it was it was really a lot of fun meeting him. I met some great people today. Uh, I'm, I'm not used to meeting other people that do ceramics and pottery. I really wanted to sit there, I'll be honest. I wanted to sit there and I wanted to grill them. It's like, okay, what do you do? How do you do that? You know, I'm always looking for the information. But it was great to sit there and just hang around and listen to some of the things they were doing. Funny people. Had a really excellent time. So, anyway, let's get started. And uh, I'm going to put the link down below to Fetish Ghost. If you're interested, I just noticed right now. I just looked him up before I ran out here. And, um... He has a, a an Etsy site, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of other people that I met too at, at the party today. So it was a lot of fun. I will definitely do it again next year. My daughter came with me today, and she goes, I want to make a box for next year, and I'm like, okay, you can do that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy today's throw, and we will see you shortly, like in two seconds when you're watching me throw. Let's get started. Lynn reminded me of something very important today in an email. She says, you know, I realize we pull the inside of the cup out farther than, than we want the inside of the cup to be so that we use up all the clay at the base. And I don't. I do a lot of trimming to get rid of the clay, the extra clay, on the base of my cup. So my new goal is to try and pull a cup and not cut off so much of the base, but try and use up as much of the clay as I can. Okay, how far did I pull that out? I have to tell you also, I've been... There's something in there. What is that in there? Is that a bubble, or is that just a chunk? It's a chunk.
this off. I like the shape though. I know I just cleared that off, but I just, I don't know. Okay, cups 98 and 99. This is cup 98, I just did it now. And this is cup 99, and I just did it now. So these guys will be ready for me to trim, and I'll put all the, both of these on the same video, trimming, handles, whatever, tomorrow. And you'll also get to see cup number 100, which uh, I also threw that tonight too. So. It's a very different and unique cup. I hope you guys enjoy it. So we will see you tomorrow.